Hi, this is Jordan Ramirez, and normally I host my podcast show, Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez. Now, I am hosting a special show for my podcast, Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez, Minisode, Jordan Ramirez Recommends. The minisodes are now airing every Monday at 12 p.m. as part of the Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez podcast. So, without further ado, you are listening to a Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez minisode. Enjoy. For my second episode, to start off the French New Wave month, I'm going to recommend the film Contempt, directed by Jean-Luc Godard, starring Michel Piccoli, Brigitte Bardot, Jack Palance, Giorgia Moll, and Fritz Long. Michel Piccoli is playwright Paul Javal. He is writing a screenplay for a big-budget film adaptation of The Odyssey. Fritz Long is chosen as the director of the film within a film, and the producer is the notoriously erratic and infamous Jeremy Prokosch, played by Jack Palance. The film is undergoing a major crisis when the producer, Jeremy Prokosch, fires the entire crew working at Chinichetta Studios who worked on this project because of financial difficulties, and that Jeremy wants Paul to rewrite the entire script since he has become dissatisfied with the rushes from Fritz Long in the projection room that is not from the script. While the film is about the making of the Odyssey, the relationship between Paul and his wife Camille, played by Brigitte Bardot, are now starting to mirror, or in this case, replicate, the Odyssey with some similarities and differences. By the time this film was made, Godard was in his third year of filmmaking, and he only made five films at this point. He made a splash with both critics and audiences with his directorial debut, Breathless, in 1960. The film was revolutionary for its technical achievements, as well as breaking the rules of what is standard Hollywood filmmaking, such as the use of jump cuts, for example. His previous films were shot in the aspect ratio of 4x3, which is a full-screen pan-and-scan technique that is seen in contemporary films of this era, well, the era in which this film was made. This film, however, was his first to be shot on Cinemascope, also known as widescreen. By using this format, Godard was able to experiment with the use of aspect ratio in terms of context related to the story and the problematic and awkward marriage relationship between Paul and Camille throughout the film. The film is rich in text citations for any literary fan and is a tribute to cinema while also critiquing the horrid nature of the Hollywood studio system of movie making. With the score by Georges Delarue and cinematography by Godard collaborator Raoul Cotard, The performances in the film are great to watch on screen, especially the performance given by Jack Palance as the producer. I highly recommend this film for a few reasons. The experimentation of the use of the widescreen format, as well as the experimentation of time and duration. The Brechtian atmosphere and storytelling and filmmaking techniques are also what makes this film a highly recommended film. And of course, that Godard is known as a film rebel who doesn't follow the rules, but instead sets new rules in filmmaking and storytelling in the filmmaking language. This has been a Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez minisode. Tune into the minisodes every Monday at 12 p.m. and Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez every Friday at 4 p.m. on Anchor, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. And until then, I'll see you at the movies. (laughs) 